And now from the Turtle Hospital over to the Crane Point Museum and Nature Center. From what we understand, this is like a really detailed walking tour. We're going to get to see some really cool, like just natural habitats in this area. And then he also said that there's some really clear water at like the middle of the tour. So I'm excited to show you guys that. Yeah, let's go see it. There's a lot of little tropical fish in this little tank here. As soon as we walk out of the front door, we start out with an orientation film. Let's go have a look. This place is an oasis for the natural environment that was the original real Florida Keys. By walking around the trails and by going down to the point, just seeing the ocean and looking at the trees and all like the spiders and everything around it, it just makes you appreciate everything that's around you. It's very easy to fall in love with this stuff. I thought this one was kind of neat. Part of one of the first people to come here, his name was Adderley. He would go sponge hunting out in the ocean. He would use this bucket. And it, when you stick the bucket down, it makes it so you can see underwater a lot better because there's not all kinds of ripples and stuff on the top of the water inside of the bucket. Pretty neat. Oh, we're supposed to tell them where we're from. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember the map that we used to have like the first year that we started vlogging and we would put a pin in wherever you guys were from? Oh no, there's, there's no, no more pins. pins. Left. Dang. Well, I feel like ours is probably You're pretty well taken. Yeah. Up. All right. Here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go here, and we'll kind of like maybe keep going that way, and like heading further and further in. There's a cannon over here. This is the gun from a man of war. It's the Top Gun. That's pretty neat. Oh wait. So this one's like a replica, and that's a real one right there, right? That's pretty crazy. We were just getting ready to go out on the trail, and I noticed that there was this painting up here, and it says that it's a Wyland. Like, that's really interesting to me, that this is a Wyland painting just on the back of this building here, in a nature preserve. It's a big old stack of old railroad ties from Flagler Railroad that came through here, came through the Keys. It was the main source of transportation before the road was built. But the railroad was destroyed by a hurricane in 1935, and that's when they really started in on, like, the highway, and then the travel industry started coming in, and the Keys started really booming. We're heading from the hammock loop into the meadow loop now. Ooh! Look at all these cypress trees. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, it's pretty interesting looking, right? This area over here is what's called a palm hammock. It's the most highly endangered habitat in the Keys, existing only between mile marker 47 and 60. This is Beth's big butterfly photo op. I guess you can go and put your head there, Jen, and look like a butterfly. Yeah, it's a Jen butterfly. Although it is very beautiful back here, there are a lot of spider webs. There are a lot of mosquitoes and it's like 10,000 degrees outside. So uh, just be prepared for that if you come out here. Uh, maybe come in the winter. It's pretty crazy just being out here in the middle of the wilderness like this. It's like a ton of birds back here and I keep seeing these giant spiders. And I'm like kind of surprised that the birds don't get caught in all the spider webs. So now we're heading over to the Adderley house, which you can kind of see it right there. It is from a bohemian settler came up here from the Bahamas. This is the guy that I was telling you guys about that used to take the little bucket end and stick it in the water and use it to go to diving for sponges. Holy macaroni, look at this place. We're gonna go try to find the front door. Hey there, Mr. Spider. You are close enough for me to like pet you. Oh no, you caught a bee. Dang. It says the tabby is very fragile. This is the tabby right here, which is crazy because as soon as you stepped inside, I heard some of it like kind of like crumble down. They said in the video that we watched that it is sand, mud, and rocks and or limestone, lime yeah, yeah or and lime. they they made like cement like back in the day here's the master bedroom this is so intense like i couldn't even imagine i'm sweating my butt off right now i couldn't imagine living in this i think then it may not have been this warm, do you think? Maybe. I don't know. And the bugs, oh my gosh, this would have been very hard to live in. Oh, okay, so it was called the Adderley Town because the house that we just went into was one of five dwellings here. I'm gonna try to film this guy, but this entire time we've been ducking underneath banana spiders. Pretty intense. We found the wild bird sanctuary that's down here, and this is the songbird cage. They're not making any noise right now, though. There's a great white heron and some snowy egrets. It's an American kestrel. Look at how cool he is. It's a green heron. Broad-winged hawk. Lots and lots of pelicans. Oh, 
He's looking at us. All of these birds have been rescued because they've been injured. That's why they're in here. It's pretty neat. It's funded entirely by donations. Even the workers um, work free of charge. Wow. Very cool. We're heading up to the crane house, which was put here in the 50s. Dang, the interior of the crane house is not currently available for viewing. Shoot, I would have liked to have gone in there and seen it. It looks like way cool, like 1950s style. Wasn't this the family that like bought this plot of land and then was like striving to conserve the uh, ecosystem? Yes. Was that this family? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Here's kind of a look at it. It's pretty awesome. It does need a little bit of restoration. Like you can see some of the chimney rock has fallen off, stuff like that. I would have liked to have lived here. It's very cool. We made it out to the point, they call it, like the furthest place on this preserve. And we're out overlooking the bay. Just saw a little raccoon run over here. See if I can see if he's still there. Oh, I saw him duck away real quick. We made it back to civilization. Holy cow, that was, was quite a trek. We had an excellent time at the Crane Point Museum and Nature Preserve. Uh, it was a little bit hot, but that was kind of like our own fault. Like we know that it's hot in Florida. Yeah, so if you are going to visit and you're taking a tour at the same time, bring water with you. Yeah. Because you'll definitely need it. You'll definitely want to stay hydrated on that trail. There wasn't a ton of shade, but where the shady parts were, it was so nice. Yeah. It was a really cool, like, look at old Florida. And we were supposed to come at 9 a.m., but we rescheduled the day, and it probably would have been better at 9 a.m. Yeah. Might have been a little bit cooler. Maybe. But when we left, they did say that today with the heat index, it's 104 degrees outside right now. Right. So. I, I had no idea it was that hot. It's a hot one. <laughs> yeah. Now. Let's find something to eat for lunch. For our lunch break, we are stopping by the Sunset Grill. So here's our view from our table of the Seven Mile Bridge, which we are actually going to be going down tomorrow heading into Key West. Holy macaroni, that's a long bridge. Here's what we got at the Sunset Grill. I got a buffalo chicken sandwich with bacon and provolone, and it looks awesome in some ranch. What did you get? Fries. I got the hogfish sandwich, and hogfish is like, it's a fish that you can get down here, and I guess it's really like the best down here. So I thought I would try it. And they always serve it with onions and cheese, which I thought was kind of interesting for a fish sandwich. So let's do it. And then this one has mushrooms on it too. One of the interesting things about the Sunset Grill is that there's a pool like in the restaurant right here that you can go into. It is a public pool. Thank you. So after we got back from lunch at the Sunset Grill, we just kind of like conked out in the hotel room. After doing the Turtle Hospital and the Crane Point Nature Preserve, it was just so hot and it was like we were sweating and then we went out and we just kind of like ate and we came back and it was that was it that was the end of the day so that's pretty much all we've been doing for the rest of the evening is just relaxing in the hotel room tomorrow we head down to key west so we're gonna stop off at bahia honda first which is like a place where we can go swimming and snorkeling and see all kinds of fish and stuff like that and then we head into key west for three days it's gonna be a fun couple of days well, we'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price